Hey guys, in this video I would like to talk about a problem I ran into with my TX03 all-in-one FPV system. I used this camera on my tiny Whoop and it is connected directly to the 1S battery that is also powering the copter. After about the first 50 packs I started to get white stripes in my video feed, up until the point where it was impossible to fly. The camera also felt hotter than usual and I noticed that the 3D printed camera mount started to melt in one area. I bought my cam from Banggood, so I made a short video documenting the problem and asked them for replacement. It took about 48 hours before a new camera was on my way. Since I knew it would take about 3 weeks for the camera to arrive, I thought I'll see if I could fix it in the meantime. White stripes are an indicator that the LC filter has a problem, and the camera getting hot exactly where the inductor is placed is another hint. So I first measured across the inductor with my multimeter and sure enough it showed 25 ohms, way too much for an inductor, which should have a very low resistance, about 0.5 ohm. Seems the culprit was found, I swapped the inductor with a matching one I found on the PCB of an old phone I had lying around. First test showed it was working again, but after about 10 packs or so the white stripes came back again. Ok, so I might have underspecked the inductor. I looked for the next bigger one I had available and found one in an old switch. I attached some wires, wrapped the inductor in heat shrink and soldered it to the pad of the PCB. I also added a dab of hot glue so that it would not rip off during a crash. It might not win a beauty pageant, but at least it is working again, consistently for at least 150 packs now. A couple of my friends also have this cam and we run very similar setups, but none of them ran into this problem. I found a couple of people on YouTube having similar issues, so at least some cams seem to be affected. Also Banggood did not ask too many questions, which for me is also an indicator that this might be a known issue. A way to work around this problem is to connect the cam to a clean 5 volt source on your flight controller, if you have one available. You should make sure that the 5 volt source can provide enough current for the cam to operate on your chosen power settings. Let me know if you also ran into this problem and if this video helped to fix it. Please feel free to leave your questions and comments down below. And as usual, feel free to subscribe, I would really appreciate it.